protection of the soul. What does she call these? Yeah, living. I come to the stage of the perfection of the soul. Yeah. Such are the living dead. She calls those the living dead. Because they are physically alive, they go through their routine every day like an animal does. Because the passions and desires of the animal nature are in ascendancy in these individuals, all their life is pulled to the earth. This generates selfishness, mm -hmm. self-centeredness, but it is a necessary <laughs> stage that we must go through. So then, in the um, Persian, this is the old Zend version of the Avesta, there's a fragment where the soul of man after death asks, where shall I go, O Ahura Mazda? In what direction shall I turn? A living man is also in the same plight. We also ask very often the same question. It is an inquiry, but it is also uh, perhaps as a result of despair. And the nature gives this answer, and the answer is self-reliance. Self-reliance. It's not saying look outside, it is saying look on the inside until and unless the soul accepts the answers and looks within, conception will be frustrated. This conception takes place only when the soul realizes its own plight. Then we are told probation corresponds to the prenatal stage. Probation. Let's put it here. Probation is the prenatal state. All life is really probationary when you think about it, but only for the awakened soul are all of the changes, the vicissitudes and miseries of life consciously recognized as tests and trials. The soul on probation must keep its own self-discipline and use the knowledge offered by the wisdom religion, which is the mother of the embryonic soul. So this wisdom religion is the mother of the embryonic soul. The probationary period may last many, many years. It may last a few lifetimes, more than a few lifetimes, because the effects of all of our wrong actions and motives that we have created in the past must be counteracted. This involves suffering, but the results are sure. Every good thought, every deliberate pure word, and deliberate self-conscious act of the awakened <coughs> soul brings a hundredfold result. It is a stated viveka, discrimination, and viraga, this passion, which is one of the um, uh, paramitas stated in the voice of the silence, unfold until the embryonic soul is ready for birth. And this period of the year represents this birth. So the psycho the spiritual aspects of this season and resolving to color not one day but the coming year with the gleam of sublimity and beauty will actually bring it about. It's the determination of this self-reliable soul to take its own faith in its own hand and progress on the road that creates these opportunities. We're not looking for anything special, neither special events nor special deeds, but the performance of the common task in our daily round. 
and we are going to take that and bring the hidden golden sheen of sublimity and beauty out of it. Every deed under karma that is ours to perform can be transmuted and thus made to yield these grand qualities. So we, as we go through our day, need to be aware of what it is that we are doing. We do not look back and yearn. We do not look forward and pine, but we take each opportunity as it comes and we can make the rigid mellow, the dull bright and color our day from morning to night with this sublimity and beauty. It is stated in all of the writings that just as the moment of choice is made up of many many moments of small choices so the real inner awakening also follows numerous small awakenings that come from deliberate effort. So the small awakenings are like days, but they are really like manvantaras in themselves. Every morning then we are born to a new life because each day brings its opportunities. So if we would induce ourselves to the mood of self soul freshness at dawn and sustain it in thought and feeling word and deed throughout the day we should soon experience the vision of the dawn of soul And it is interjected into that that we're kind of slaves of hours and days but for the soul past present and future are one so that if we were to live in the eternal now many psychological dawns would be ours every single day but we miss them because we are heedless of the soul Beauty and sublimity, it says, repose in each event, but we need charity, harmony, patience, dispassion. endurance. These are the parameters in actual fact. So, whether we are sweeping the floor, whether we are washing clothes, whether we are paying bills, keeping accounts, or we are um, encouraging friends, or we are acknowledging acquaintances, or we are studying theosophy for the promulgation of it, what we need to keep in mind is if it is ours to do perform it with these grand qualities of sublimity and beauty make it bright make it um, hopeful for the other so if we can then color a day this way and continue with it for the rest of the year our year will be also sublime and bright. It is stated we are now in the Iron Age, which was preceded by better ages, known as Gold, Silver and Bronze Age. The cruelty of this age is great because it is a cruel age, an age of spiritual darkness, but in it we have to make a foundation of all 
that existed in other ages. We have to bring into expression all that existed before and put the very highest of all that proceeded into practical use. We were the ones who lived through those ages. We have gained experience through many, many lives through those, and we need to bring it and put it into use. But what else must we do? Not only have we to pass through this Iron Age with all the aspiration of the other ages, but we must start a new Golden Age with all that we have gained. Because unless it is started, it does not have any impetus to go any forward. So it is our responsibility then to bring it about. This is HPV. She says, all of our discoveries, sciences, religion, social and national life are material without a spirituality. The more the self-conscious spiritual man has gone into matter, the more he has closed his spiritual doors because his self-consciousness and energy have been put into terrestrial objective things. But, she says, he must go through these uh, stages and emerge from them, bringing with him all the knowledge he has gained thereby. And not only in his effort to gain knowledge for himself, but also to impart his feeling and understanding to the kingdoms below him in the matter which he uses. Then when he moves up the scale of being, that matter too will be lifted up and become more fitting for his use. The theological ideas of old do not have as much sway over our minds today, but the remnants are still there. So minds are, that have been opened up to reality are searching in every direction for that which is stable, permanent, and true. They're looking for knowledge which is feasible and practical. A tide, she says, comes for the presentment of such knowledge, a tide for the appearance of beings greater than we. Greater because at some time they took advantage of the rising tide to go far beyond where the ordinary man found himself to go. These beings come at certain great seasons. As the heavens tell the story of the messianic cycle, the passage of the sun from one side to another of the zodiac takes a period of 2100 years, the cycle of the coming of a great teacher. Mm -hmm. So these great teachers then do come. They come to show us the way. So then the real Christmas can come to us in our own hearts. We can realize that there has arrived once more the season we can rise with. If we make our minds to do so, we can follow the path of our great predecessors, the great saviors of the world, the great saviors of all times. They are all beings of the same nature who come among us and as was said of Jesus in all things, become like unto us, that they may impart to us something of their great knowledge and point us to the path they follow. They all come from the same body, whether we call them Buddha, Jesus, Zoroaster, or by any other name. Always they leave messages for us which are set down and knowing, known as the sayings of the founders of all the great religions. Jesus, for whom the Christian nations celebrate Christmas, was one of a body of perfected men. There were many others before him, and there will also be others. There have been others since, but they, there will be others yet to come as well. <coughs> 